Find the second derivative with respect to x of x squared plus y squared equals 16 using implicit differentiation. Remember that here y really means y of x. It's some unknown function of x. You need to use the chain rule when you differentiate here. So differentiating x squared is just 2x. That's simple. Differentiating 2y in this context means you bring the 2 down, you multiply by the y, and then you multiply by the derivative of the y, which is symbolically written as dy dx. On the right side, the 16, because it's a constant, its derivative is 0. It doesn't change. From here, solve for dy dx, so minus 2x, minus 2x here, so that's going to give us 2y dy dx is equal to negative 2x, divide both sides by 2y, divide by 2y, so these cancel, and here the negative and the positive 2s will cancel off, leaving that dy dx is equal to negative x over y. That's the first derivative. Let me stress, y is a function of x. What you have to do, therefore, is differentiate this again. So, differentiate with respect to x, this dy dx. Do the same thing on the right side. So, the derivative with respect to x of negative x over y. Because y is a function of x, when you differentiate this part, you have to use the quotient rule. So, as a reminder, it looks like this when you differentiate it by the quotient rule. You can do low d high minus high d low over low squared. That's a mnemonic device for remembering the quotient rule. So start differentiating this part right here. You're going to have the second derivative with respect to x like this of y because these symbols right here convert into this symbolism right here. Anyway, so differentiate with low d high. So the low one is y and the derivative of the high one is the derivative of negative x which is negative 1 and then subtract from it the high one so now be careful, minus a negative x, and then the derivative of the low one, again, would be another dy dx. That's all you can write for it because it's y, some unknown function of x. And then you're going to put this over the low one squared, which here would be, again, y squared. So this is y times negative 1 is negative y. This is two negatives, so it's going to be a plus x. Now we know dy dx right here. It's negative x over y, so put that in here negative x over y, and this whole thing is hanging over y squared right here. So negative y minus x squared over y divided by y squared. Continue. So here, combine this into a single fraction in the numerator. So multiply the first y by y over y. It's going to be negative y squared minus x squared over y divided by y squared. Continue over here now. Factor a negative 1 from the two top terms. So it's going to be negative 1. And then you're going to have y squared plus x squared over y divided by y squared. Continue with the crazy fractions. Remember, y squared minus x squared back here is equal to 16. We're told that initially right here, 16. So that means over here now you're going to have negative 16. And the y over the y squared becomes y cubed right here. And this is the answer. Here's all our work. Please be sure to like this video.